What's up guys, JV2017 here, and this is your E3 recap, day one of Ubisoft. And Ubisoft had their own press conference kind of reveal, and uh, it was very exciting to be honest. I didn't know how big Ubisoft was. I'm sorry if you say Ubisoft, but I just don't like that because it sounds like Boobisoft. So, <laughs> um, I'm going to get on with it. Alright, it's their 25th anniversary, so... Um, Ubisoft had a bunch of cool stuff to talk about. First off, they had Rayman Origins, which is a 2D platformer. It kind of goes back to their days. Rayman was their first big uh, superhero kind of character. Um, so that's really what they wanted to go back to and give you kind of the true feeling, the true kind of child feeling of uh, Rayman and how it was in the beginning, but, you know, on their next-gen platforms. So pretty cool idea. Um they also had this guy nicknamed Mr. Caffeine talking about it all, and like he he made the nastiest jokes, and they bleeped him out on TV. And uh, somebody was asking me where I saw all this. This is all on G4 TV, uh, and yesterday it was on Spike, but Spike is not doing it anymore for E3, so it's all on G4. So um, next we have Driver San Francisco. Uh, it has pretty good graphics. It was only a CGI trailer, so. Not really much you could say about it, but uh, I remember hearing very good things about the first driver, so I might actually be picking up Driver San Francisco. Uh, and also, they talked about having great multiplayer, so looking forward to that. Uh, Far Cry 3. This was a very interesting CGI. Um, actually, it was not CGI. It was in-game footage. It was fucking... I wrote down visceral for this game because they had this guy who was like, do you know what the definition of insanity is? And then he, like, said it over and over, because you know what insanity is. It's doing the same thing over and over. It's kind of, um, psh, that'd be a paradox. I don't know. I'm I'm rusty on my English literature ter terms. But um, he, he, he kept repeating, do you know what the definition of insanity is, making him insane. And then he kept repeating. It's saying the same thing over and over. It's very complicated, but... Wow, this game really, really impressed me. The graphics were beautiful. Far Cry is always known for having great graphics, at least I think so, uh, for its generation, for its time. Um, yeah, and uh, it was, oh my god, it was bloody as hell. Very, very violent, shooting innocent people. Um, very, very cool. Um, <laughs> Brothers in Arms, The Furious 4. This is Inglorious Bastards-esque. Okay, so... The guy, Randy Pitchford, who is the head guy over at Gearbox and obviously working with Ubisoft, um, they're making Duke Nukem, if you didn't know that. But they didn't talk about that game. He kind of hinted at it, which is kind of funny because it's coming out very soon. They're not going to show it off at this E3, of course, because the game's coming out in like a few days. I think seven days, but seven days. So uh, it's Inglorious Bastards-esque. It's got that kind of feel. It's about killing Nazis. Um, with these these over the top characters, this was a really bloody CGI trailer. But there's nothing but a trailer, kind of disappointing. But extreme violence, like it had it written all over it. The first thing that happened in the conflict was someone threw an axe at a Nazi's head, and it like split into their head. Pretty hardcore. Uh, next, they had the Ventures, the Adventures of Tintin, which is a kitty game. I've never heard of it. That's all I'm gonna tell you about it. Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Um, really, they had this demo where they had to go in and uh, rescue a guy and kind of escort him back to a helicopter to get to safety, I believe, or back to a location. Uh, main thing I noticed, mini helicopter drone. It's really cool. You just click a button and you can go up in this hel helicopter drone. And it's got um, these sensors and you can see all the enemies. Very cool. Uh, they're, they're emphasizing stealth and visibility. There's like this little, you know, you can go invisible, of course. It's Future Soldier. Of course you can go invisible. JV, gosh. And the gameplay uh, kind of models after that because you can be a stealthy mofo. You can be a little ninja. So that was very cool. Uh, Four-player co-op campaign. That was really cool. So you can play with four players. I don't know if it's split-screen four players or online or different Xboxes. But uh, or system link is what I meant to say. So and they emphasized team coordination. But they also had this new system called Gunsmith. And if you have a connect, you can pull apart your gun, 
look at all the different pieces and put in different pieces and customize your own gun uh, aka gunsmith so very very cool idea and that wowed a lot of people went over very well at E3 so Ghost Recon Online is a free game uh, made by uh, Ubisoft Singapore and it's free so why not check it out it's coming out pretty soon I believe they have a beta coming out soon and then they talked about Trackmania 2 and they had these two I think one of them was very French and one of them was like half French half Native American half Asian of some sort I don't know she's very very exotic looking and sounding but it's this game and it's part of their Mania Planet kind of franchise thing I don't know it's really hard to explain because I can barely understand them. You can create your own racetracks and cars and uh, share them with the world and race. So that'll be coming in September. I think that's trying to battle with um, Sony's Mod Nation racers. That's that's basically the same thing. So Except they're actual cars and not little kitty cars. Uh, they had uh, Rayman Raving Rabbids Alive and Kicking, which has connect body support and a lot of fun minigames. And... My cousin, many of you, some of you may remember her from some commentaries in the past. I probably had to delete all of those, but uh, she loves <laughs> Rayman Raving Rabbids for her Wii. And so this one has Connect body support and uh, should be interesting. I won't be buying it, but you know, kitty game. Um, but my cousin is as old, old as me, <laughs> so she's cool. Uh, Just Dance 3. Sorry, I'm not moving on the screen here, but I think I went to go do something. I'm not sure. Probably got a drink or something. All right. Or went to the restroom. All right. Uh, Just Dance 3 releases in October 2011. That's all I can offer for that game. Uh, just a bunch of dancing and new songs and Katy Perry, I think. Uh, Rocksmith. This is a really cool new technology. It's where you can actually plug in a real guitar via a cable that plugs into your Xbox via USB. So, and it actually teaches you to play and it starts you at a low level and it uses all the strings it's not some gimmicky guitar hero rock band it's just it's the real deal it's fucking in it's intense is what it is and comes out this fall october 2011 i will be buying this people i will and i have an i have an electric guitar to plug into there and someone made the point uh, about rocksmith uh, what if you don't have an electric guitar yeah i'm sorry tough noodles buddy it's, um, it's the wave of the future, Rocksmith. I'm going to learn guitar, bitches. All right. And then they talked about Your Shape Fitness Evolved 2012. Never heard of Your Shape Fitness Evolved 2011. So, yeah, it's just a fitness game for all you soccer moms out there. Next, the biggest, biggest, baddest thing of the show. Assassin's Creed Revelations. Woohoo! yeah, give me some claps. All right, so Fall of Ezio. Um... They basically had Ezio being, like, captured and led up to this tower and got on a plank. And he's old as fuck. He's, like, 50. And he's got this, uh, I know that's not really that old, but it's old for, like, an action hero. Usually you're looking about the 20 to 30-year-old um, range, I guess you could say. But Ezio was old. He was an old assassin. And as he was on the plank, he sees a shadow, this ghostly shadow of Altair, and nobody else could see him. They made that very clear because they use camera angles. And, um, yeah, he's got, like, a beard, and he just looks old. And the new thing is bombs. You can make over, like, 150 bomb combination is, I think, what I read in Game Informer. And there's an improved eagle vision. I forget the name of it. It's, like, Eagle Eye, I believe. Yeah, Eagle Eye. That's from another game. I don't know. can't remember. Um, and... Once you throw down your smoke bomb, you can look through the eagle eye and see your enemies and attack them through the smoke. It's so intense. And there's this new uh, weapon called the hook blade. It's not really a hook blade, but you can use it as a weapon, and it's a way to traverse the city a lot easier th on ropes. So you can just hook onto the ropes, travel across. The uh, Your assassins that you call are very more, that were uh, introduced in Brotherhood, are very more intuitive. They look like real characters this time. It has a more cinematic feel. They're trying to move towards that. That's a big theme of this E3 is more cinematic feel. And uh, at the very end, there was an animus gate. And 
Oh my god, what if what if Altair comes through the animus gate? Who knows? Alright guys. Peace.